Welcome back to Viewer's Fix View Quick Guide. You've probably made yourself familiar with the toolbar here from our last video. Today, I'll introduce you to some of the key managing tools. VX View provides several layout options. You can choose the provided options here or choose your own layout here. Of course, you can customize which layouts to show at the setting mode. Probably the most frequently used annotations are right and left. If a step needs a specific annotation every time, you can make it to be added automatically by using options in Procedure Manager. You can also type in your own annotations here. You can locate the annotations anywhere on the image and adjust the size. At the setting mode, you can change the default font type, color, and size. Aside from the basic annotation tools, we have more advanced functions like calculating the cop angle, and vertical discrepancy. Please note that we have more tools prepared for VET applications. You can learn more about our functions from our operation manual. VXView supports exposure index and deviation index which would help you control and absorb dose. From the tool section, you can see the target exposure index icon. Target exposure index is an expected optimal exposure index and you can change it by clicking on this icon. You might need to suspend a study when there needs to be a time interval between extra exposures of the same patient, or have to move to see a different patient before finishing working with your current patient. In any case where you need to halt the study and come back later, suspend is the option for you. Click on the suspend button, and you can work on the study later by reopening it from the database mode. When an x-ray image cannot be used due to patient movement or technical issues, you can click reject to indicate you will not approve the image. Click on the reason to reject the study. You'll see that the study is indicated in red. Once you've rejected an image, you'll have to retake it. Simply click on the icon here, and you'll see that a new step is added with the same step information with the rejected image. You can also click the Retake button right away without clicking on the Reject button. It'll show you the original image has been rejected and a new step has been added with the same information. Should you want to restore the rejected image, click on the trash bin icon and the image will be restored. If you restore the image, the added Retake step will be removed. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.